We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Not so fast. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. So that's your solution? Put the whole colony on ice? People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. I'll answer however I can. The Lifetime Employment Program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. 
I'm sure you remember Dr. Anton Crane. His research was instrumental in developing a powerful appetite suppressant. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The Lifetime Employment Program is our only viable option. When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked. Even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. I've served the board long enough to understand its weaknesses. Running a colony requires swift and decisive action. The board is slow, ponderous, and prone to squabbling. That's why I'm relying on you. You deliver results without the paperwork. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Are you out of your mind? We're not gonna murder a town of innocent people. You will do exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Finhill. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. You replace a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. Because we were negligent. You're right, the colony can't possibly feed itself. And it's our fault. This is our mess. And the only way we're cleaning it up is by taking action. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. No, allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. Edgewater is beyond saving. We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? You've been paying attention. You're absolutely right. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol 
which is exactly what we need. The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years, but the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? I appreciate the flattery, Captain. One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. Then don't tread lightly. Carve a path through them for all I care. Just take care of it. Report back to me when the job's done. You're not really thinking of going through with this plan, right? Tell me I'm imagining things. That's Parvati's hometown. You're just gonna wipe it out? Vicar Max lived in Edgewater. We got folk from our own crew that called that place home. If you don't like this job, and I don't like this job, and nobody else on this ship likes this job, then why are you going through with it? Edgewater is a corporate town, not some marauder camp. They're asking you to wipe out their own people. I want to trust you, boss, but I'm going to need more than just your word. I need an explanation. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the right thing. And if you can't, then we're not going to be on good terms. Never mind. Let's just move on. Something on your mind? Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Quite so, sir.
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Max. Maximilian. Vicar. Vicky. Yes? Aw, this is no fun anymore. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Your ability to get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? Hey, Cap. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. I won't wish you luck on the hope. Can't rely on luck. Rigorous calculations and sound logic. That's the ticket. What's on your mind? Certainly. How can I help? 